To set up your centre thermostat, slide the front cover off to insert your batteries. Once done, put the system back together. The thermostat should then start to flash with the year. If not, hit any of the available buttons to start. You need to start by entering the correct year, month and day. You can adjust this with the arrows on the right hand side for up and down and all actions will be confirmed with the bottom right hand button with the tick directly above shown on the screen. Repeat the same process for hours and minutes, again selecting the confirm button each time. There are four time periods the thermostat is set at throughout the day. The graph is an example for a typical working household. In this instance, P1 is set to kick in at 5.30am, ensuring the house is at a required temperature for when everyone gets out of bed. P2 is set to run from 9am until 4pm when everyone is out of the house, ensuring no unnecessary load is put on the boiler and the house remains a steady temperature throughout the day. P3 is set at 22 degrees, ready for the householders to return. This is then set to run until 10 p.m. when P4 is scheduled to drop to a cooler temperature throughout the night until the cycle is complete before P1 begins again. So to set those four programs on your centered thermostat, press any button to wait the screen. Press the menu button and select program. Each setting will flash, which requires you to confirm your time and temperature commands with the tick button. You should see it flashing on Monday with the number one on the left hand side, this being the first day of the week. We'll continue with those steps in a moment. Once you've okayed Monday, you'll see the four different time frames. P1 will be flashing, confirm this with a tick. This time will then flash for you to set this. Once you're happy with your selected time, press confirm, at which point you'll be required to set the temperature, then press OK. P2 will then flash, follow the same process along all four programs. Please note there are four set points. The times you enter are both the end point for the previous program and the start point for the new program. Once you have filled in Monday's full schedule, you can of course continue to program each day individually if you choose. However, assuming you want all weekdays to follow the same pattern as Monday, to save you time, you can choose to copy these programs by selecting the middle button on the screen as previously mentioned. Press copy, then using the top right hand button to continue through to number five, which is Friday. Continue this with a tick. To then set the weekend differently, press the left hand back arrow button followed by the confirm tick and then proceed to set your days 6 and 7 weekends temperatures using the same P1 to P4 process we've just seen. It is advised to use your thermostat in auto mode as this is the most economical way to manage your heating. When set to auto, it selects the pre-programmed schedule we've just looked at. You can, however, choose manual mode simply by pressing the middle button until the box moves from auto to manual. The large display in the middle shows the current room temperature. The smaller numbers above can be adjusted with the right hand arrows to your targeted temperature. This is automatically selected, no tick required. For optimising your boiler's lifespan, we would always advise using the auto settings.